Exclusive Look Dune Part 2 Trailer teases Austin Butler and Florence Pugh Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about Exclusive Look Dune Part 2 Trailer teases Austin Butler and Florence Pugh Let's get right into it Timothy Chalamet has just managed to rid his hair of the last granules of sand and now he's set to revisit the arid landscape Denis Villeneuve's Dune, a grand interpretation of the 1965 science fiction classic, penned by Frank Herbert, is guaranteed a sequel. I've been informed by Legendary that Dune Part 2 is now officially greenlit, proclaimed Villeneuve back in October 2021, as cited by The Hollywood Reporter. Adapting Herbert's Dune has been a long-standing dream of mine, and I am grateful to the fans and cast and crew, Legendary and Warner Brothers, for their unwavering support in this endeavour. This is just the beginning. With Dune Part 2 on the horizon, let's dive into what we know about this much-anticipated Desert Saga sequel. The latest trailer for Dune 2 showcases Chalamet's character taking up arms alongside Zendaya's Chani. This world epitomizes cruelty, he narrates over the footage. However, the Fremen seem reluctant to accept the outsider, whose eyes have yet to turn the characteristic blue. Josh Brolin urges him to lean into the whispers branding him as a prophetic figure. Embrace it, insists Brolin. Chalamet eventually wins over the Fremen by successfully riding a gigantic sandworm. Meanwhile, Florence Pugh's Princess Irulan is seen crafting her schemes, and Austin Butler's bald-headed Fade Routha Harkonnen battles in an arena. Stellan Skarsgård tells Butler, Handle this prophet, demonstrate your worth, watch out, chosen one, a fully shaved Elvis lookalike has you in his sights. As for the cast of Part 2, if you caught Dune Part 1, you'd know that a significant number of characters tragically fell to gas, battle and sandworm, including those played by Oscar Isaac, Jason Momoa and Sharon Duncan Brewster. However, Villeneuve has filled out Dune Part 2 with an impressive roster of recognisable faces. Returning to their roles are Chalamet, Bardem, Zendaya and Rebecca Ferguson. Joining the interstellar ensemble are Pugh, Butler, Leia Seydoux and the legendary Christopher Walken. Walken will take on the role of Emperor Shaddam IV, head of House Carino. Pugh will step into the shoes of his daughter, Princess Irulan, while Seydu will portray Lady Margot, a friend of the Emperor and a member of the enigmatic Bean Gesserit. Butler, on the other hand, will embody Fade Routha Harkonnen, nephew to Stellan Skarsgård's Baron Harkonnen. To round off the star-studded cast, Tim Blake Nelson will take on an as-of-yet undisclosed role. The ensemble represents a diverse range of talents from different generations, making this sequel an exciting prospect for all. Hold up! That first glimpse you're getting isn't just a figment of spice-induced hallucinations. Listen closely, that's the excited chatter of Dune fanatics going into overdrive as a feast of breathtaking first-look images exclusively released by Vanity Fair on April 27th comes to light. One snapshot captures Zendaya, tenderly brushing Chalamet's cheek amidst the vast expanse of the Arrakis Desert. Elsewhere, his piercing blue eyes, set against the backdrop of an earth-toned cape and headscarf, hold a depth that rivals the ocean itself. The universe of Dune encapsulates a complex labyrinth of geopolitics, littered with potent ecological and technological metaphors that still resonate today. Chalamet admitted to Vanity Fair, at its core though is the relationship where Chani kind of emerges as a moral beacon, just voicing that seems monumental, but she truly is the touchstone of humanity in this vast world. The official poster reveals the duo, armed with serrated blades, set against a vivid orange sky, reminiscent of an Oliver Eliasson creation. Pew exudes regality, adorned with a pearl lace headpiece, while Brolin stands among the flaming remnants of a blood-soaked battlefield. Skarsgård is seen indulging in a pipe while soaking in a bathtub, clad in a provocatively veined fat suit. Seydu is pictured standing in what appears to be a vessel, cloaked in her interpretation of power dressing. A navy blue crepe gown, complete with a velvet hood, we catch a glimpse of Butler's bald silhouette. Austin Butler represents a performance that's a thrilling blend of a psychotic, sociopathic killer and the charisma of Mick Jagger. Villeneuve commented on the unveiling of these initial images. So, what's the storyline of this sequel? Dune Part 2 picks up the latter half of Frank Herbert's iconic epic sci-fi novel. The inaugural movie concluded with the prophetic young monarch, Paul Atreides, fondly known as Little Timmy Tim, and his mother, portrayed by Ferguson, aligning with the Fremen. Thankfully, this hints at more substantial screen time for Zendaya's character, Chani. The curtain was lifted on additional plot and character specifics at CinemaCon on April 25th. She's not merely a dream figure this time round, Zendaya commented on Chani's expanded role in the sequel. In the first installment, I had a limited window to discover who she was. These characters are still maturing, grappling with love, and assuming the mantle of warriors for their people. 
Villeneuve portrayed the sequel as an action-filled epic war film, contrasting with the contemplative tone of the first installment. He added, It is significantly more layered. We ventured to entirely new landscapes. I aimed for novelty, not repetition. All new sets, everything is brand new. He unveiled that the entire film was shot in IMAX. The Dune 2 trailer, unveiled at CinemaCon, teases Atreides' sandworm ride, Pew's Princess Irulan, and Butler's psychotic Fade Rautha. Chalamet hints at Paul becoming the Fremen people's savior. After a shuffle in the release calendar, owing to Blade's director change, Dune Part 2 will debut earlier than planned on November 3rd, 2023. Nothing like sandworms to kickstart the holidays. That's all for today, and we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.